Scheduling for September and October of 2024 is just around the corner and you can help make the process a lot easier by taking 30 seconds and going to put in your block out dates for those services. Uh, for those of you who are newer to the team, a block out date is a way for planning center for you to track the weekends in planning center that you're unavailable. So what you do is you'll open up planning center either in the smartphone app or on the desktop app and you will take a moment and enter what are called blockout dates. I'm going to show you how to do both right now. So on the desktop app, go to services.planningcenteronline.com and that will take you to the main page. Now, where it defaults is to the service types section under plans. What you're gonna to wanna to do is click on the tab up here that says my schedule. And under my schedule, you'll see a calendar view right here and you'll see a button that says add blockouts. Click on the add blockouts and you're going to be entering blockout dates for September and October. Now, technically, you can enter blockout dates anytime over the uh, for any date at any time. So, if you have something that comes up, even if you know, like, oh yeah, I'm going to be gone. I've got a work trip in, uh, you know, April of 2025. Well, you can easily go in right now and put that in as a blockout date. Um, you don't just have to do it for the scheduling. Um, session, but we do this in two month blocks. So what you'll want to do is go to September and October, uh, and put in your block out dates. If you have any dates, uh, it's as simple as let's say you're going to be gone the 15th of, uh, September. Well, what you would want to do is click on September 15th and you can put that in as, uh, you know, you can put in a reason you can just say traveling or whatever. You put that in and hit save one block out. Now, let's say you've got multiple days that you're going to be out. Let's say you know you're going to be gone from uh, Thursday the 12th to Thursday the 19th. Um, you're gone for a whole week. Well, you can click on Thursday the 12th and come up here to where it says end date and click in here. And that will select that entire week. Now, why that's helpful is that you'll be blocked out for Sunday the 15th, but if you're a vocalist, it'll also, also go ahead and block you out for September the 22nd as well, because you're going to be missing this Wednesday evening rehearsal. So this is a really cool tool that, that automatically puts in blockout dates or anticipated blockout dates based on your availability throughout the week. So all you have to do is hit your save blockout and it will show up on your blockout schedule. Now I've got a blockout in here uh, at the end of October. Let's say my plans change and I'm gonna be here instead. All I have to do is go in, click on this right here and I can click delete blockout. So it's not, uh, you know, it's not set in stone. If something changes, you obviously have the ability to go in and make those adjustments in Planning Center. Another cool tool for those of you who are newer to using Planning Center, another cool tool that you can use is this subscribe feature right here where you can link your Planning Center schedule. So any service that you've been scheduled for, you can link that to whatever tool you use, Google Calendar, iCal. Um, looks like those are the basic two options that it gives you access uh, to there. Uh, but I found this to be super helpful to just have that view pop up on your calendar. Now let's go over to the smartphone app and take a look at how to do everything we've just done on a mobile device. On your mobile device, you'll want to open the Planning Center Services app. It's a green icon with three dotted lines, three bullet point lines on it. Open that up, and when you open it, it should default to the plans view as well. Uh, click over on the left side on the schedule view, and you'll see a similar layout to what you see in the desktop app. Uh, it'll give you a rundown of your upcoming services. And then at the top here on the top left, you can hit add block out. Now you'll do the exact same thing that we talked about on the desktop app. You'll just choose the dates that you're going to be out and you can put in a reason at the bottom and hit the check mark at the top and your block out will be submitted and secured at that point. 
I hope that's helpful information on managing your block out dates. If you have questions while you're trying to submit them, do feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to help you. Finally, please make sure all of those are submitted by this coming Sunday, August 11th. Scheduling will begin Monday, August 12th. Thanks so much.